Hello everyone. Welcome to the tutorial of Gato Plugins. Today I'll show you how to change WooCommerce Variation Image Gallery selecting single product attribute variation swatch like Amazon or AliExpress. In general, WooCommerce Variation Gallery images get changed when all its variations are matched. But in the premium version of the plugin variation swatches for WooCommerce, we have added a feature. By this feature, the variation gallery can be changed by selecting a single attributes swatch like Amazon or AliExpress. I have selected a demo product from Amazon. You can notice, on this page, variation images are changing without selecting the size of the product. So to achieve this feature on your product page, Make sure, besides the free version of the plugin variation swatches for WooCommerce, you have activated the premium version of this plugin as well. Now head to Swatches and navigate to Spatial Attributes. From Variation Image Preview option, give a check mark on this option. And from Choose Attribute option, select your desired attribute whose swatches you want to use on changing the variation image gallery without selecting other attribute swatches. Now save the changes and go to the product page. You can notice my gallery images are changing only based on the color attribute swatches. Now if you want to know how I have set all these variations, then go to the edit mode of the product and head to variations. Here I have set the variations of color attributes individually and I have left other attribute variations to any. So this is the way of setting the variations globally. Here you can see from the variations option I have selected add variation. By selecting add variation I can manually set as many numbers variations as I want. But if you want to automatically set the variations, you need to select Create Variations from All Attributes. Now I'll show you how to set the images in your variations by selecting the option Create Variations from All Attributes. But first of all, you need the plugin Duplicate Variations for WooCommerce. If you have this plugin activated, then it's very easy to add the images in every variation of your product. To do so, first you need to install the plugin. To install this plugin, navigate to Add New from Plugins. Now search for Duplicate Variations for WooCommerce and install the plugin. Once the plugin is installed, then activate the plugin. So now the plugin is activated. Now this is another product. And for this product, I have chosen the color, pattern and size attribute. And from this product, I have selected the option create variations from all attributes. This option automatically created a total of 12 variations. Now to set the pictures in all the variations, you'll add the images in every variation one by one. Am I right? But as I have already activated the plugin duplicate variations for WooCommerce, it's very easy to add the images in the variations. Now here you can see variations are nicely categorized. So I'll add images in every variation based on the color attribute swatches. You can see I have a total of 4 variations of blue color, 4 variations of green color and 4 variations of red color. You can also see there are some IDs besides the variations. These are the variation IDs. Now at first, I'll set an image in the first variation of the blue color. You can see you have three more variations of blue color remaining. From variation number 1248 
to 1250. Now I'll select the option set image to other variations. You'll see a field of variation IDs. So from this field select 1248, 1249 and 1250. Now save the changes. So see images are already added in every variation of blue color. Now I'll follow the same process to add images in the rest of the variations. Now I'll set another image to the first variation of green color. As again I have three more variations remaining for the green color, so select the option set image to other variations. And add the remaining three variation IDs of green color. Now I'll set an image in the first variation of red color. Select the option set image to other variations and again I'll add the remaining variation IDs of red color variations. Finally save the changes. So you can see in a very easy way images are added in every single variation. Now it's time to set the prices in all the variations. Because if you don't set the price in the variations, then it will not show up on the product front end. I will set the prices according to the color attribute swatches. Now let's set the prices accordingly. That means I will set one price for the four variations of blue color. Then I will set another price for the four variations of green color. And finally, I'll set another different price for the four variations of red color. Now save the changes and then click on the publish button. Now go to the front end of this product. You can notice my gallery images are changing based on the color attribute swatches. As previously, I have already selected this option and chosen the color attribute from here. Now let me select some variations. First I will select blue Adidas L variation and then I will select red Adidas M variation. You can see each time variations prices are changing according to this list that I created on the product backend. In my previous product, except the color attribute swatches, I had set the other fields to any and also set the same price for each variation. But in this product, I created the variations by making the combination of all the attribute swatches and also set different prices based on the color attribute swatches. Now I'll show you another thing. For that, let's go to another product. Let's assume that you want to select a different attribute for a specific product to change the variation image gallery. Let's assume for this product, I want to change the variation image gallery only by selecting the size attribute swatches. To do so, go to the edit mode of this product and from swatches settings, select size attribute from the single variation preview attribute option. Click on the save swatches settings button and navigate to variations. Specify individual attribute variation type for size attribute and select any for the other attributes. Save the changes and go to the front end of this product. You can notice for this product images are changing based on the size attribute but not on the color attribute. But as I have set the color attribute globally to change the image gallery, so except for this product, other products galleries are still changing based on the color attribute. If you find this tutorial helpful, then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of the latest videos. If you have any query, please write them down in the comment section. Thank you.